Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're all having a lovely snazzy day and a great start to your 2024. This is the first progression video of the year, so I'm very excited about it. I've got big plans for this year, a lot of things that I want to tick off. I'm not really going to go through them too much in this video because, you know, the goal is still the same, 120 all, so as many of those we can smash out as possible would be amazing to be honest. So yeah, let's just get straight into it and yeah, grab your snacks and drinks and let's go. Let's start off this video with a bit of appreciation for Lion's Iron for saying that they love the True Mastery series and look forward to seeing more of them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Um, but we are cracking this one off. Cracking this off? That doesn't really make sense. We are starting this one off with cracking on, that's what I meant to say, with our fire making grind. I'm going to work on a few other skills as well in this video so it won't just be fire making, uh, but we're really close now to 40 mil which is really nice and 3.3 mil from 111. We will probably do some mining as well. I really want to get 115, that'll look so good. Some of these have some nice bonus XP as well so yeah it's going to be nice to be able to use some of that up and just get there a little bit faster. Not sure whether you guys really care about this stuff or not, but if you are a fan of setups and setup videos and stuff like that, I managed to get a new mic stand, which, yeah, I'm very grateful for, for Christmas, and it's a lot nicer than my old one, so here is just a little look on screen right now of how it's looking. I've cleaned up the setup, we've got um, a nice, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have it on screen, obviously on my desk, it's just like a little display. I think it's Devoom? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's this little screen. You can kind of set it to whatever you want it to be and it's just really cute. It really looks good on the desk. Currently have it on Calcifer, keeping the desk nice and cozy. Here we go. 40 million XP in fire making in just a couple more logs on this next one here. There it is. 40 million XP. Very, very cool. I love getting these little milestone pop-ups. It kind of just makes it a bit more fun when you're going for the 120s, just to be reminded that you are getting somewhere. I didn't realise how close to the next level of Hunter we are. I think I'm only level 100, but yeah, we're so close to 101, it's pretty cool actually. So I'm just going to keep my eye out for the divine box traps and uh, hopefully get myself that either today or tomorrow. I've just extended by 100% my daily limit because these do take up a lot of your gathering limit for the day pretty quickly. Um, so hopefully with the extended amount, we should be able to get that today, which is, yeah, really exciting. Only 40k to go. Beautiful. There is 101 Hunter, which, yeah, I haven't trained in a very, very long time. Okay, so... It is Monday right now, New Year's Day, so Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope you have had an amazing 2023 and 2024 can only go upwards. So we obviously had the Santa visit last night, didn't get the black party hat, but we did get this scarf. Now it looks pretty swish, but the cool thing about this scarf, you have to forgive me, I'm using my left hand, I'm right-handed, but my cat is curled up on my lap and has taken my arm hostage, so we're having to go with the left hand here. So it might look a little bit, um, I don't know, a bit scatty, but if we have a look in the bank, we can get all of these scarves out. The good thing about having all six of these is that we can actually combine them and customize them. So there we go. We've now got one winter scarf, which we can customize, to set to the colours we like, which is so, so cool. That just looks so nice, because we can obviously get it to match the Max Cape if we wanted to. I don't really wear the Max Cape um, that often because I do prefer the 120s, but it does mean that we now have full customizable scarves, and they're really nice looking as well, so yeah, really happy with it. If the audio sounds a little bit different in this video, maybe a little bit more echoey, it's just because of how I've installed the new arm and the microphone's in a different position. Uh, so I'll try and figure this out. Hopefully it doesn't sound too bad for you guys. Um, but what I wanted to go and do real quick is go and make a little outfit to match my title. So let's do it. Okay, what do we think? What do we think? I didn't really want to get rid of the flippers. The flippers kind of go with the cape and the party hat as well. I do really like it and I, just, I love the flared trousers so they're always staying. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. 
So I had to restock because we were running very low, but I bought myself some more of the corrupted logs and in a couple of throws time, there we go, there is 111 fire making. I'm aiming for at least another level this week, so that should be in this video as well. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. 111 and 4.4 mil to go until 112, so let's get it. Okay, so we have some lamps here and not much XP to go for 114 Slayer. I'm just going to use some of these to finish off that level just so we can gain that. As I'm not really training too much Slayer at the moment, it just means we can finish that off. So there we go, 114. It feels like it's progressing quite nicely considering I'm hardly doing it or I'm not doing it as much as I could be if I was just trying to rush for 120. Um, but yeah, the rest of the lamps here I'm gonna use on prayer. I've been trying to use as many as possible on prayer when I can do or towards like crafting or something like that. But yeah, if we use those, only 1.4 mil until the next level, so it won't take too long. Okay, so if we have a look, we are only 32 or 31k now away from the next level of fishing and also only 68k from 112 fire making, both of which I will tick off with the completed daily challenges. I have both of those ready now. So yeah, it's been a very long time since I've done two levels at the same time. So it should be good. Let's just finish off this divine bubble and grab ourselves those levels. Cool, let's go. So, claim rewards. There we go. There is the first one, 112 fire making. I was kind of hoping they would show side by side, but they didn't. Um, but anyway, we also got 104 fishing there as well. And now we have 2.1 mil to go until the next one. If we have a look as well, we are 1.9 mil from 115 mining. So the daily challenges are definitely helping with this one. Wow, we just got a thousand protein traps. One thousand protein traps. That's pretty OP. We just got some more as well. We just got another 150 of them. Sometimes Treasure Hunter is pretty crazy. This is the first time realizing that the Silverhawk boots have an emote. I didn't realize, I, I don't, I don't know why I've never noticed that, but hey, there we go. The temptation to buy this die is real. I really, really want it. It would look so cool. It would just make it look so much nicer. So it isn't really a secret that I'm not a massive bosser or PVMer when it comes to RuneScape, um, but I really want to make it a resolution of mine this year to make it more of a thing that I do to kind of break up from just the constant grind of skilling and going for 120 all because I kind of obviously need to make the money in order to afford this goal. Um, but also I really do have a few bosses that I absolutely love. Vindicta and Gorvek is 100% my favorite boss hands down. And the twins as well. I have completed both of the collection logs. So I have everything for both of them, but I really do enjoy them. So I'm gonna try and ease myself back into bossing before I try anything harder with some of my familiars from a few years ago. And hopefully we get something cool. Ooh, okay, this is my first decent drop. This is, I think, my fourth kill now. No, my third kill. And yeah, 557k. Not too bad. This is our final kill of the instance. Maybe we'll get something good. It just looks so cool in here. Raw vec, the smoke, it all just looks so nice. Okay, we've just completed the first hour of bossing for the year. It was good fun. So let's take a look at the loot here. It's nothing crazy. Um, we did have a couple of golden beams, but it was mainly for um, just these noted drops here. So yeah, nothing, like I said, significant, but let's have a look, see what we managed to get. Okay, we got nearly 1.6 mil in loot and we also got some coins as well. I can't remember the exact amount of coins that we got, um, but yeah, it's not it's not too bad. For my first hour back, I'll take it. If we keep doing this, maybe we'll get lucky at some point soon, get a crest or a lance or something. That'll be really sweet. It's been nice to do something different other than just grinding out the skilling, which is exactly what I wanted. So I believe I did mention this before, but I am planning on getting myself a Nox Scythe. I currently have the bow and obviously the staff as well. Oh, thank you very much, Tins. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I was planning on getting a Scythe. Imagine the Scythe with the Aurora die. That would look 
That would look so nice. I just thought it could be pretty cool. Whilst we're working towards like 120 attack and stuff, it'll be really useful to have that. And also for the bosses that favor or are weaker to melee, it will definitely help with that as well. Just imagine the dyed staff right now. Oh, it would look so damn good. But on that note guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video here. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, like always, smash it a thumbs up, leave a nice little comment down below, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. If you didn't see the last video that I posted, it was basically a progression movie or film of this entire series. Just kind of cut up a bit more to make it as relevant as possible, got rid of the intros, the outros. Um, so if you have a spare three hours or so, feel free to go and check it out if you would like to put it on in the background or whatever. But this was the first progression video of this year, which is really cool. You know, I'm hoping to get a bunch of 120s this year. And again, like I said before, start up some more bossing. It's been such a long time and I had a really good time today. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the variety there. Even though we didn't get anything crazy, it was still a good hour of fun. So I can't really complain. But once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.